I found number five. What is it? A gingerbread house? Yeah, it looks like it. Good morning, friends. It's Vlogmas Day 5. It's about 7.45 a.m. in the morning. Happy Saturday. All right, good morning. We're having a breakfast picnic at our favorite park because we had to get up early. How early did you get up? 6.30. Yeah. So Brothers it's about... Game. Yeah. So it's about 9 a.m. Okay, we found this really cool area that's kind of like a secret garden. It's like a reading corner. Super cool. We should have brought our books, huh? friends it's about 7 30 on Saturday evening and I thought I'd share what's happening with my Christmas cards this year I'm trying to get all my Christmas cards out this coming week and this is the format I am using I am using a craft envelope Here you can see the basics there's the craft envelope my cards are in there I don't want to share those um, and then I am using this rubber stamp that I've had for a while. I used this last year as well because I thought it's so cute with the reindeer and the, the mail bag. And of course some red stamping ink. And then I am using my black calligraphy ink to do calligraphy. I am also using the Snoopy Peanuts Charlie Brown Christmas stamps this year. So this is an end product. Of course I have... Uh, covered up some personal information for this uh, person that's going to receive it but uh, as you can see I have drawn in my lines I am a beginner calligrapher and one of the things we learned in calligraphy class is that it is perfectly fine to draw your lines in and then after the ink dries you can erase it and one of the things we learned early on was how to make a template and I've got a couple here I've got the one that staggers which I which I am using for my holiday cards and then I've got one that just centers as well but um, all I do I don't know if you can see on here but I just place the template over and I trace in the lines with my mechanical pencil and here's one with the lines on it and then I write in my address and after it dries, uh, our teacher suggested we wait overnight. It usually dries way before then, but if you just want to be extra careful, and it can depend on the ink that you're using, um, you can just erase the lines uh, the next day or right before you're ready to send them out. So that's what's going on with um, Christmas cards. And that's about it for today. Um, I'm going to call it a night and hunker down with a book soon. So thanks guys. See you tomorrow.